Coach Rob back. So Rob, first of all, um, Brett Sturgis is to announce his, or has announced that he will retire. Tell us a bit about why, Sturge to me seems quite a popular figure in the dressing room. Tell us a bit about Sturge the man. Well, well first, I don't know if he's going to retire. He's going to finish his professional or he's going to, he's going to be leaving Exeter. Um, you know, obviously what he does in the future, you know, we, we wish him the best for. Um, I think the thing with Sturge is, yeah, he is an, he's an interesting character in a lot of ways and uh, the boys really, you know, they really love him and he's a bit of a unique guy um, in, in lots of ways and probably a little bit too difficult to, ex to explain <laughs> simply. I mean, the, the big thing is what he's, what he's totally embraced are the qualities of uh, working together as a team, working together to help each other be as good as they can, um, making the best of yourself and working hard to get the best out of yourself and, and making the most of your, yourself as an individual and, uh, and making the most of the team um, and, and working exceptionally hard to do that and at the same time you know, emotionally buying into um, being a good team man and being a good member of this rugby club um, and as I say you know, I'm being prepared to show it uh, and, live, and live it really I think that's what Brett's done. You know, he's one of those. I suppose you can't call them the unbeat. You can't call them the unbeatables because we lost plenty of games. Yeah. But I suppose in the early years of us getting promotion from the Championship and then staying in the Premiership, we we had a group of lot guys together. You could certainly call the unbreakables. Yeah. You know, they, there was an awful lot of guys seemed to be playing every single week. Uh, and all those guys seemed to play nearly every single minute. And Brett was one of those guys. You know, and he was a cornerstone of uh, a lot of the th a lot of the, the points we gathered to become an established Premiership side. Mm. And I think those are the kind of m memories you have of him that you'll never forget. I mean, I, I can still, you know, I could still see it, close my eyes now and see it like I was there, that first season in the Premiership when he, he gathered that loose ball pretty much near the halfway line up at Saracens and galloped it in. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, was, I was riding him like a jockey all the way, really. I mean, I don't mind, I don't, I don't, I don't mind saying it. And, you know, things, memories like that, they, they live with you a long time. And I think that's what Brett's been part of. He's been, he's been part of the building of a very, a very strong team culture here mm. that I think we still thrive on now, you know, six, seven years after promotion. Really? Well, Sturgey, it's an interview we've been dreading to do, but um, you're going to announce your retirement tomorrow from uh, professional rugby. But um, when you look back at it, some great times, some great years and lots of memories. Yeah, too many, to be fair. That's, that's, that's fantastic to have, you know, um, 17 years now nine years here and unfortunately you know professionally it's, it's, it's coming to an end at the end of the season but you know to pick a few out you know coming here at first and then able to you know the at Bristol um, winning um, to get into the Premiership was was fantastic and then Gloucester the first um, game in, in the Premiership was absolutely fantastic as well and the first, you know, the, all these first kind of thing in that first season was, you know, we'll live on um, the Saracens, Saracens away, getting our first victory, um, you know, me, a try. me able to score a try, <laughs> yeah, um, in all these, and then, and then from then on, it's kind of been a massive, you know, we've always talked about having a journey, and and, and, I, and I feel I've, at least I've, you know, played a, a good part in that. And the Chiefs, is, like you say, it's been a magical journey, but for you, you've been through so much on and off the field, and there's been highs, there's been lows. <laughs> But probably the highs way out, outweigh the lows. Definitely, you know, you, you, when you come to this club and, and the guys, you know, I've always said the guys that Rob brings in, they fit in straight away. So the highs are, you know, on the field, fantastic winning and things like that. But there's, there's a lot more time that you have off the field, so you need a good guy, a good group of guys around you. And you know, you, you, you've interviewed me many, many times to know that you enjoy yourselves a lot here. Um, you know, with hard work and, and that pays off and um, I've just, you know, thoroughly enjoyed myself and it's, you know, unfortunately it, it does have to come to an end. The, uh, the first few years in particular of the, of the Premiership years, as I call them, that group of originals and you're still one of a dwindling band now, but you went out and really proved yourself and, you know, you, Rob gave you all your chance, your big shot at the big time and you took it, you grasped it and, and really drove the club forward and, Everyone was there to knock you and say you weren't going to survive, but you did the total opposite. Yeah, that's what that's what drove us. If you look at the side that um, played in, uh, that, that night in Bristol, if you look at the, f the first game of the season, perhaps against Gloucester, there was not many changes. Of we, we brought in a couple of guys um, who, who fitted the bill, and and you know, like you say, the press and everybody outside of the club um, that year wrote us off and said, you know, we, you know, didn't have enough time. You know, you, know, there's, there's, you haven't brought in the right players, you're up against this, you're up against that. And we and that, that just really 
brought us more together as a, as a club. We knew we was good enough. You know, everybody from it from down down below to the top knew that we could stay in the Premiership, and and I think that's and that's grown. You know, and we've built on that. And you know, over the years, over the years, you kind of you know you can't do this, you can't not going to get into Europe and this, and we've you know we're stuck together. You know, we've lost a few people along the way, but we've, we've Rob's brought in and what he's been great at is bring, bringing players in to to really add something. And um, fortunately, you know, I've tried, kept here for nine years, but you know, that's, that's that, you know that's, that's 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 rugby, that's sport, and you know, if the club's only going to go on. You know, um, be it this year, you know, we've got three months left, which I want to add to. Um, if the club don't, you know, win anything this year, you know, in, in year, you know, I can't see it that long. You know, that's what we're building to, and you know, I played a part in that, which I'm really, um, really proud of. You talk about the players you've played with and you're currently playing with. It's a fine group of players that you've done with, and they're friends for life. Some of those guys. You, you'll you'll leave the area to to do pastures new, but Exeter will be a big part of you. The family's been brought up here. Born here, in fact, yeah. and uh, Devon's been a big part of you. X has been a big part of you. Yeah, you know, that's, it's not just a, it's not just a, the players and stuff. It's, it's like you say, you about a bond with the. One of the great things I like doing is after matches is going to speaking to those people. You know, you get to know them as, as well as as well as the players, the fans. Are, you know, they they've come along the journey with us all the way along. We we talk about that all the time. Those being. Being that, being that bond with the fans and like you say, the the players, you know, that's what make the club. That's what make the club so special is, is these players and you know people may leave and stuff, but the guys he Rob and the coaching staff bring in, they just fit in straight away and you, you know you you feel comfortable with them straight away. And I, you know, I'm, what I'm, I'm going to take away when I do finally leave is is those is those memories and those and those great friendships and you know two you know, two ways about it. I'll be definitely back. Um, as much as I can, and cheering on guys, and definitely having a beer with the, with the with the fans as well, and and on with the fa with the family. You know, it's not just a club of the area. It's been so good to us. Um, you know, coinciding with with the two um, my two children being born was on the uh, day of the parade when we won. Um, Noah was born. I don't remember being called off the bus. Um, get rushed into hospital and Heather in labour and, and obviously Bonnie the day before the first home game of the season um, three years against, against Sale so they're all kind of linked in you know rugby and my family kind of it's all been intertwined and, and that's what's been fantastic we've, we've really enjoyed it we've been made so welcome here and you know you know part of the furniture as such and it's one of those things that it has to end. Now he's a good guy like he said he's a unique character and you know he bumps his way through team talk, team talk still <laughs> Um, which hasn't changed, you know, in, in all the time he's been here. And like I say, you know, he's, he's got he's got some unique points. When you talk to him, and you know, he repeats himself four times. You know, you, you'll get the gist of most of the team talks we get off him. But you know, his heart's in the right place. And the, the biggest compliment I can pay him is that he's he has worked his so absolute socks off to be the best player he could for the Chiefs. And, uh, and that's the biggest compliment I can pay him. And I'd like, you know, personally, you know, I've got a big debt of gratitude for him. To him because he's one of the players that allowed us to stay in the Premiership, yeah. helped us get in the Premiership, and allowed us to stay here. You know, those guys should, um, you know, their efforts should never be forgotten because in the first year or two, you know, you know the truth is no one really gave us a chance with yeah. the, with what was perceived the squad of players we had, uh, and all those lads and, and Brett was one of them. You know, proved a lot of people wrong.